Welcome to Seeking Zen, a channel dedicated to guiding you on a path of self-discovery, inner peace, and spiritual growth. I'm your host Jason and in today's video, we're diving into the mysterious world of Wu Wei, also known as the art of effortless action. We're going to explore this ancient eastern idea and uncover its hidden treasures. Wu Wei is an ancient Chinese concept that literally means non-doing or doing nothing. It is a state of being in which one's actions are perfectly aligned with the natural flow of the universe, without any interference from one's ego, desires, or expectations. Wu Wei is not about being passive, lazy, or indifferent, but rather about being spontaneous, flexible, and responsive to the changing situations. It is a way of living in harmony with the Tao, the ultimate reality and source of all things in Chinese philosophy. In the words of the ancient sage Lao Tzu, nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. This sentiment encapsulates the essence of Wu Wei, a profound principle that seems to defy our modern notions of constant hustle and bustle. In this video, we will explore what Wu Wei is, how it relates to other Eastern philosophical concepts, and how we can apply it to our lives. With that being said, let's get started. Chapter 1. Aligning with Life's Rhythms Life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Don't resist them, that only create sorrow. Let reality be reality. Let things flow naturally forward in whatever way they like. This quote is attributed to Lao Tzu, a Chinese philosopher. It suggests that life is a journey of constant change and that we should not resist it, as doing so will only lead to sadness. Instead, we should accept the reality of the situation and let things unfold naturally in their own way. Wu Wei involves harmonizing with the natural flow of life, which is constantly changing and evolving. Life has its own rhythms and cycles, such as day and night, seasons and years, birth and death, growth and decay. These rhythms and cycles are manifestations of the Tao, which is the source and essence of all life. To practice Wu Wei, we need to be aware of these rhythms and cycles, and adjust our actions accordingly. We need to be sensitive to the subtle signals and cues from the environment, and respond appropriately. We need to be flexible and adaptable to the changing situations, and take advantage of the opportunities that arise. For example, when we wake up in the morning, we should follow the natural rhythm of our body and mind, and start our day with some gentle stretching and breathing exercises. When we work during the day, we should follow the natural rhythm of our energy and creativity, and focus on our tasks when we are most productive and inspired. When we rest at night, we should follow the natural rhythm of our sleep cycle, and go to bed when we are most tired and relaxed. By aligning ourselves with life's rhythms, we can optimize our health, happiness, and performance. We can also avoid unnecessary stress, frustration, and exhaustion. Chapter 2. Wu Wei, The Essence of Not Forcing Wu Wei can be understood as a paradoxical action of non-action. It does not mean literally doing nothing, but rather doing something without forcing it or striving for it. It means acting naturally and effortlessly, without overthinking or rationalizing. It means following one's intuition and inner wisdom, without being influenced by external pressures or expectations and aligning oneself with the Tao the natural order and principle of everything that exists. Wu Wei is based on the recognition that the universe is a complex and dynamic system that operates according to its own laws and patterns. Trying to control or manipulate the universe is futile and counterproductive, as it only creates resistance and conflict. Instead of imposing our own will or agenda on the world, we should adapt and cooperate with the world, and let things happen as they will. By doing so, we can achieve our goals and fulfill our potential with ease and grace. It is also based on the realization that we are not separate from the universe, but part of it. Rather than existing in isolation, we are threads inextricably connected to a greater whole. Our individuality is seamlessly interwoven into the tapestry of interconnected existence. We don't function as autonomous entities, rather, we engage as interdependent contributors. Our nature isn't one of unchanging solidity, instead, we embody the fluidity of ongoing processes. Our form isn't static and fixed, it's a manifestation of dynamic energies and perpetual motion. In essence, we don't stand apart from the Tao, rather, our existence is intricately woven into the fabric of the universe. Chapter 3. Wu Wei in Taoism, the way of effortless action. Wu Wei is a central concept in Taoism, 
one of the major schools of Eastern philosophy. Taoism teaches that the Tao is the origin and principle of everything that exists, and that by following the Tao, one can achieve balance, harmony, and peace. The Tao is often described as a mysterious and ineffable force that cannot be named or defined, but can only be experienced and expressed. To follow the Tao means to act according to one's true nature, without imposing one's will or preferences on the world. This is what Wu Wei entails, to act naturally and effortlessly, without striving or struggling. The Tao Te Ching, a classic text of Taoism attributed to Lao Tzu, is a collection of philosophical and poetic verses that explore the nature of the universe, the human condition, and the way of life. It says, the Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. The nameless is the beginning of heaven and earth. The named is the mother of 10,000 things. This quote suggests that the Tao, which can be translated as the way, is an ineffable and eternal principle that transcends human language and concepts. It implies that any attempt to define or describe the Tao will inevitably fall short of its true essence. The Tao Te Ching also says, the sage does not act, and yet nothing is left undone. Should lords and princes be able to hold fast to it? The myriad creatures will be transformed of their own accord. This quote suggests that the sage, who embodies the wisdom of the Tao, does not impose his will or interfere with the natural order of things. Instead, he trusts in the spontaneous and transformative power of the Tao to bring harmony and balance to all beings. The quote also implies that if rulers and leaders can follow the example of the sage and align themselves with the Tao, they can bring about positive change without resorting to force or coercion. By practicing Wu Wei, we can become like the sage, who is in tune with the Tao, and who can influence the world without interfering with it. We can also become like water, which is the symbol of the Tao, and which can flow around any obstacle, and nourish any life form. Chapter 4. Letting Go of Attachment Wu Wei teaches us to release our strong grip on attachment, which often brings a lot of unhappiness into our lives. Attachment is like clinging onto things that aren't lasting, dependable, or even real. It can show up in different forms, like getting too attached to things we own, people we care about, our ideas, how things turn out, or even who we think we are. Why does attachment make us suffer? Well, it tricks us into feeling safe and satisfied, but that feeling can easily disappear or get threatened. Attachment can also trick us into feeling separate and causing problems with others, leading to feelings like fear, anger, or jealousy. Plus, it tricks us into thinking we're a certain way and boosting our egos, which can make us act proudly or arrogantly. To practice Wu Wei, we need to loosen our attachment grip and embrace non-attachment instead. Non-attachment is like setting things free from our tight grasp. It doesn't mean we stop caring, but it means we become wiser and more compassionate. Non-attachment is about understanding the real nature of things, that they're always changing, connected to everything else, and don't have some permanent identity. It's about accepting things as they are, without trying to control them. It's like loving things without expecting anything in return or depending on them. When we learn to let go of attachment, practicing Wu Wei becomes smoother and more effective. We can do things without being too caught up in the outcomes. We can have our own thoughts without getting too stuck on them. We can act without being too tied to our ego or the idea of who we are. It's like learning to dance with life more gracefully. Chapter 5. Wu Wei in Everyday Life As the famous Taoist philosopher Lao Tzu said, those who know do not speak. Those who speak do not know. This quote suggests that people who truly understand something do not feel the need to talk about it, while those who do not understand it tend to talk about it more. In other words, true knowledge is often silent and does not require explanation. Wu Wei encompasses not only a philosophical notion but also a tangible skill applicable to our daily lives. Its principles can assist us in navigating the array of challenges and opportunities that punctuate both our personal and professional spheres. Now let's understand how Wu Wei can be practiced in our everyday existence. In the face of quandaries or dilemmas, the practice of Wu Wei advises against imposing solutions or decisions. Instead, it encourages a composed and objective observation of the circumstances, fostering patience until the opportune moment for action emerges. 
As we strive toward goals or undertake projects, the application of Wu Wei involves relinquishing an attachment to both the outcome and the intricate processes. By committing our utmost effort with the resources and knowledge available, we cultivate trust in the innate rhythm of unfolding events. In our interactions with others, Wu Wei advocates for unburdened dialogue. This implies an attentive and empathetic listening, where personal words and ideas are released, making way for honest and respectful communication devoid of manipulation or deceit. Amidst conflicts and disagreements, Wu Wei encourages a detachment from rigid stances and perspectives. Instead, it urges an exploration of alternative viewpoints, fostering an understanding that seeks common ground and compromise without resorting to stubbornness or hostility. In the realm of emotions and sensations, Wu Wei manifests as an approach that disentangles attachment and identification. It encourages acknowledgement and the graceful passage of emotions without either suppressing or indulging in them. In essence, the practice of Wu Wei isn't confined to theory. It offers a versatile toolkit for approaching life's intricate tapestry with a balanced and flowing demeanor. Wu Wei is the art of not forcing an Eastern philosophy. It is a way of living in harmony with ourselves, with others, and with the universe. It is a way of achieving balance, harmony, and peace. It is a way of being natural, effortless, and spontaneous. And that brings us to the end of our exploration into the profound philosophy of Wu Wei, the art of not forcing. Throughout this journey, we've delved into the elegance of letting go, the power of natural harmony, and the wisdom of flowing with life's currents. As we conclude, remember that embracing Wu Wei doesn't mean being passive or inactive. Rather, it's about finding the effortless action within stillness, about tapping into the flow of existence. By practicing non-resistance, we unlock a world of possibilities, where we dance with life rather than struggle against it. Thank you for joining us in this enlightening journey through Wu Wei. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay connected with our future explorations of profound philosophies.